Welcome to session three of the video series on New Jersey's early intervention system. This video clip will focus on services. The services provided through the New Jersey early intervention system are designed to address a problem or a delay in a child from birth to age three. The services provided by early intervention services are designed to be provided as early as possible by qualified personnel and are delivered in the natural environment, which could be the child's home or an early child care setting. This video will give you more information from both parents and practitioners about the services that are available in the New Jersey Early Intervention System. Every child has a different plan. It is all, number one, by the child's need, the family's need, um, we take um, information from the eval team. Um, what did they see during the eval? What do they feel would be enough? We want it to really be a balance. At the very first meeting, it'll be the service coordinator, the targeted eval team, the family, and whoever the family wants to invite to, to this meeting. And it's really a culmination of all of the information that have been gathered. You have results from the evaluation team. Maybe, maybe there was an outside um, assessment or evaluation the family may have had done. A discussion unfolds addressing, you know, for example, a mom uh, who, who made the referral to early intervention. It was because their child is 18 months old and still not walking. So, you know, um, technically, you know, a, a, fa a family, that may be one of their first priorities, right, is that their child learn how to walk. The whole team creates what we call an outcome. What is it that we're expecting or would like to see happen for this child? And then they talk about strategies on how to have this happen. Any range of developmental need could be on an outcome. Um, so they could be language-based, they could be motor-based, it could be social, and even a family outcome. Um, an example of a motor one might be to help a child pull to stand, cruise, and then take independent steps. It's never just, you know, if you score this, you get this service. We, we look at all those factors, but we look at what the outcomes are, what we want to achieve, how much help the family needs, how much support the family needs, um, and who's the right and most appropriate person to be in there helping the family with that strategy. Whatever I would say, they took into consideration and always valued what I had to say, even if it was something that was, it didn't, it didn't fit, it was, I didn't know what I was talking about. And they would ask too, uh, what's more important for you? So he wasn't speaking yet. Is it more important, or walking. So is it more important for me that he be mobile um, on his own or that he be able to communicate so that they would know which area to stress? We have to do active listening as the family tells their story. They may say things like, um, my older child used to run to the door and greet, greet um, you know, his father when he came in all the time. He would say, hi, daddy. And now this one doesn't even seem to notice that, you know, that dad's coming home. So I would make notes. If I hear something like that at an IFSP meeting, I'll make notes and say, well, this is something that's really important to the, to the family. They also would help him since he was delayed in his speech, they would also incorporate sign language, um, which would motivate him to speak more and to let us know what he wanted. Nobody wants homework, right? So at the end of the day, you, you know, we're all tired. You don't want a laundry list of, of all the things that you need to do during the day. But, it, when you're, but when something is given to you during that routine, it flows, and that's when it happens. If we just go in there and start, say, talking about, okay, do wheelbarrow walking with your child and show them what it is, it's kind of like just floating out there. When am, when am I supposed to do this? But if we make a suggestion and we say, I see that every time you, you know, go to the bathroom to give him a bath, you're going down this hall. How about you incorporate it into your routine? Every time you're going to take him for a bath, and I know I did that with my own child, just walk down the hall, you know, wheelbarrow walking, and that was the way you automatically built it into your day and you remember to do it. They do a lot of things like tying into, you know, stretching for a child, maybe during diaper changes, working it into the routine, singing songs during car rides, all of those things. Our team was fantastic. They really did work with us to say, you know, we want him to be able to sit through story hour at the library, so how can we make that work? 
Um, so instead of coming to the home, sometimes she would say, well, hey, let's, let's do it at the library so I can kind of work with you and, and be the model of some things that you can do there. During the periodic and annual, annual reviews, um, the whole IFSP team uses information that they've, they've gathered from ongoing assessments. So they're going to be tracking progress. It's always important with whatever we're doing to track progress and see what strategies are working. We don't want to keep using the same strategies if they're not effective. During these periodic reviews, uh, families could really start to see the progress that their child and even themselves have made. Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found it informative and useful. You may have questions even after viewing the video. If so, I invite you to call SPAN at 1-800-654-7726. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you may still have or share with you additional resources.